Hi gang, welcome back to Waxy On. It's uh, Wednesday, and that means classic rock. And today we're going to look at a band from the early 60s, from England. Yeah, I know it sounds like a British Invasion band, and it really was. Uh, it was a band that was considered most, one of the most influential bands of the 1960s. No, it's not the Beatles, it's not the Rolling Stones, it's Ray Davies and the Kinks. Now, for some of you older people like me, that name probably sounds familiar. For some of you younger listeners, uh, maybe not so much. Um, Ray Davies and the Kinks had a little issue in the mid-60s. Just when the English, uh, or the British invasion was really happening and they were starting to take off, they got in a little bit of a problem in North America down in the U.S. and uh, American Federation of Musicians banned them from performing in the U.S. for four years. So they really missed getting in on that wave of uh, popularity that was happening and a chance for people to hear what they were doing in the mid-60s. They were doing a lot of uh, work over in Europe and other places and getting some charts, but North America, not so much. They've been closed out. I think the first uh, tune I heard from the band or recognized was uh, You Really Got Me. And I'd sing a little bit of it for you, but hey, I used four bars from a Kinks tune and they've already got me tagged down here, so you'll have to look it up. And it was probably the first hit I really recognized as, uh, as being the band or what I associate with the band. Uh, the album I have isn't from that era. It's one that came out after their hit Come Dancing. Uh, it's uh, Come Dancing with the Kinks, greatest hits from 1977 to 1986. Now, granted too, the Kinks haven't really been performing much in later years. I went to their website and there's not a lot there. They're not touring. They've been off the circuit for quite a while, but there are still albums available. Uh, certainly on the streaming network, a lot of their material there. Uh, YouTube, videos, hard copies available. And this is the one I grabbed. I'll probably go back and get one of the early albums later on, but uh, at this point, this was one that kind of caught my attention because really, that uh, song, Come Dancing, was a real big hit, getting a lot of airplay, and it was probably their last big commercial hit that I know of, you know, in, in my neck of the woods. Just before we start, we'll look at who's playing on here. Now, of course, we've got Ray Davies and Dave Davies. They were perpetual members, I mean, the leaders of the band. Uh, Mick Avery on drums. He pretty much plays on all these cuts as well. We have a little bit of personnel change as the albums went on. Um, first album we had, we got uh, John Dalton on bass. Next album, he's replaced by Andy Pyle. Next album, he's replaced by John Rodford. The next album, replaced by Jim Rodford. You know, uh, and it looks like Jim probably carries the rest of the, uh, the tunes. So a little bit of personnel change, but I mean, Ray and Dave are always the, the main members here. So let's take a look at what we have on here. From the album Jukebox Music, we got a song called Sleepwalker from 1977. Uh, from the album Rock and Roll Fantasy, we've got the song Misfits, 1978. I think I just did that again. My mistake, I'm going to go back and just correct that. The album was Sleepwalker, 1977, and the tune was Jukebox Music. I'm reading this wrong, that's the way I've got it highlighted here. Uh, the album was called Misfits. The song was Rock and Roll Fantasy. Those probably sound a lot more familiar, don't they? Uh, Low Budget, the album from 1979, I Wish You Could Fly Like Superman. Now, there's three songs on here that I say if I only had three, well, I'd have to say four kink songs because I want to include that, you really got me. Uh, Superman would be one of them. From the album One for the Road, they've got You Really Got Me, Lola, and Celluloid Heroes. So we've got two more big hits there. We've got Lola. You really got me, and my other fa favorite was Superman, and there's one more coming up here from the album Give the People What They Want, 1981. It's Destroyer and Better Things. From the album State of the Confusion, 1983, it's Come Dancing. Don't Forget to Dance and Heart of Gold, Long Distance. They've incorporated some synthesizer and piano in here as well. And again, that Come Dancing song, if you don't recognize it, Pull it up on YouTube, stream it. I'll tell you, it's one of those ones that you get a real earworm that once it gets in your head, you've got it there all day. It's just such a catchy tune. And from the album Word of Mouth, 1984, we've got the tunes Do It Again and Living on a Thin Line. The band really not got, didn't get the coverage it should have when it came out, and 
again, maybe that uh, four-year ban in North America or in the U.S. is what kind of took away from it. But if you follow the English music, uh, a great band to listen to, some fun tunes there. And for me, like I said, I recognize one or two of the big hits because they got a layer play anyways. It was an album of discovery, a chance to hear stuff I'd never heard before. I'm listening to them with fresh ears, and there were some really fun, great tunes. Ray Davies did a great job in the writing and performing. So if you get a chance, check it out. Uh, my album was Come Dancing with the Kinks, the greatest hits from 77 to 86, but there's lots of great Kinks music out there. Okay, everybody have a great rest of your week. Uh, we'll see you on Friday. Till then, everybody take care. Stay safe. Thanks for stopping by.